Good morning. Uh, I'm Robert Dycroft, Director uh, and Leon Levy Professor here at the Institute for Advanced Study and a uh, warm welcome to our, our two-day conference. Um, and I want my uh, only task uh, this morning is to say a few words of thanks. Uh, first of all, to uh, the, uh, all the organizers of this conference. I mean, we felt actually there were very good reasons to have this celebration of 100 years of general relativity at Princeton. Uh, of course, uh, in some sense, you know, we can say Princeton and the Institute was the place where both relativity came to fade away and actually rebound in a spectacular fashion. And, um, and so I'm very happy that we could do this as a collaboration between the Institute and the University, which you know, this is very strong relations that go back to the founding days. Uh, perhaps not everybody knows that, uh, that in 1929, uh, Oswald Weblen, a mathematics professor at the university built basically the biggest math department in the world and uh, with lots of empty space and then uh, he read in the newspaper that uh, a new institute for advanced study was created uh, and it would be placed in Newark or its vicinity and then I think he made a phone call or at least contacted uh, Abram Flaxner and said well you know uh, Princeton is just in the, around the corner from Newark and I would say uh, and he had the most magnificent offices uh, to, uh, to present, and I think from that point on, the Institute and the University were so intimately, closely connected, and I think this, this conference is a kind of a testimony to that. Uh, when the new president, Chris Eisgruber, uh, at the University came, we had a small dinner here, and I said, well, you know, the Institute, we are a small moon orbiting a big planet. And he said, well, I'm not an astrophysicist, but you give an awful lot of light for a moon, which was very clever, I think. <laughs> Um, so, thanks to my uh, fellow organizers, also thanks for the speakers, because I think the organizing principle of this meeting was the same as the organizing principle for baking a birthday cake. You, know, you want to do something that you really enjoy yourself. And so we uh, tried to get uh, the speakers that we knew, all of us, would enjoy listening to. And, and I think it uh, uh, will be terrific, kind of bouquet of flowers. Uh, kind of a testimony to all the different dimensions, 10 we identified uh, during the regular talks uh, for, uh, to present what the, the relativity has meant and is meaning and also looking in the future. And I must say I'm also very, very happy that after the banquet uh, tonight, we have a panel session uh, shared by uh, Jim, Jim Peebles, uh, bringing many uh, of those who led the Renaissance and were present at the renaissance of relativity theory. And you will see also and I'm in the display cases outside some of the memorabilia around that time. I was very happy to see this beautiful drawing of John Wheeler about the first drawing, I think, of a wormhole. And it was made in Leiden in the Netherlands in 1956. So uh, the Dutch part in me is also a little bit proud. Uh, finally, I want to uh, thank also all of you, the participants, uh, for joining this meeting, uh, staff who really have been working and will work very hard the coming days and really if there's anything that you are, uh, anything we can do for you, just contact me or any of, of our staff and we are happy to do so. And finally, I want to thank uh, our, the wonderful financial support we got this meeting from Eric and Wendy Schmidt. And with that, uh, I will do what is the official task of the director of the institute, namely getting out of the way. And uh, I give the word to uh, Joe Taylor, who will actually be chairman of this morning's session. Joe. Thank you, Robert, and good morning, everyone. It's uh, wonderful to have you all here. We're looking forward to having a lot of fun in the next couple of days. Um, the acoustics in this room, I think, are very good, but uh, I will just mention the fact that in case anyone here is having problems hearing, there are earphones uh, that you can pick up in the back, uh, which uh, would be an aid. We're getting started right at the beginning, as you can already see from what's on the screen, uh, and our first talk is going to be by Michael Jansen from the University of Minnesota on the early history of general relativity.